A little demo of uh, a nonlinear circuits, PCO. This one was custom done by me. I don't think it's actually a Euro VCO, but it worked. It had a custom panel with two behind it. Lots of point-to-point -point wiring. Sorry I couldn't do picture-in-picture. Picture. Uh, what uh, we're looking at here is, uh, is the, the VCO. We'll just do one side for now, plus the scope. So at least we can see both. Not perfect, but it works. I've got a little uh, sequence running from an analog solutions over corn. And we're gonna use Tip Top Z3000 and a PM Foundations 3080 VCO as, uh, as LFOs. And I think that's it. There's no filter, it's running into a MFOS VCA and then a LATIC final mixer. So let's have a look at the standard waveforms. with control. So the neat thing about this is the saw pro and pan pulse. So there's a pro saw, sorry, and a pan pulse. Let's have a look at the pro saw first. Uh, again, there's no filter. So there's only one actual control for the pro saw. That's this one. So you can see what it does to the waveform. There's a few controls associated to it. So that gets us... This is the pan balance control. So you can see through the amplitude. Adjusting hand balance in the initial changes the waveform quite a bit. And you can also adjust the pulse width. So here's where things get to be a little more fun. So we can do some pulse width modulation. So that's standard pulse width modulation. Plus you can do the the uh, pan pulse pulse width modulation. So you can do two pulse width modulations.
So that's just the pan pulse. My sequence is getting on your nerves yet? Um, and then we'll add in the normal pulse width. Of course, you can fool with the frequency of the modulation. He's just using sine waves, so I suppose you can do other things. <laughs> 